Hey, what's up everybody? It's J-Rock right here. Today I'm going to be hitting you with an unhaul video. Basically, it's books I'm trying to get rid of because I've either... I got them in another format. I've either upgraded them, downgraded them, however you want to look at it. Uh, like this one, for example, is Aliens Volume 2 from the Classics. It contains a storyline in Nightmare Asylum and Earth War. Now I've gotten these in this um, omnibus. I recently got this Aliens Omnibus. It includes these stories. Plus of some extra stuff, right? This is about 300 pages, about 800 pages. So, um, technically, this is this would be a downgrade from this, but it includes extra content. So, I was like, I don't need the content twice, even though here it's in bigger pages. Nicer book. I mean, look at this blue foil on the top. This looks gorgeous. I love it. And it's very light. I like this because it's made with a... I mean, it's not a gloss finish. It's like a matte finish, like the original comics look. So I do like the way this looks a lot more over that. That's like more cheaply made, but it has more um, content. So therefore, I don't need both, like I said. And some of this other stuff I've read, I'm not going to reread. And some I've bought digitally, so I don't need the hard copies anymore. Okay, so this is the first one I'm going to sell. I'm going to sell this in, in a bundle pack. Look at this. This is huge pages, and it's you know thick cardboard, paper, matte finish. And the omnibuses are like magazine papers, a lot cheaper. And this has different, um, you see it has this obviously, so it has different extras. Let's just give a comparison real quick. Just want to get an idea of how the art looks on that compared to this. Okay, here's one of the pages. You see how it looks here, here. Digitally, on the, through the screen on the camera, the colors here look brighter, it pops more, so you would think this looks better. But in person, this looks better. These brighter colors and the way they make it on this magazine paper, it's definitely meant to like uh, look better digitally on the computer screen and so forth. So if you buy the digital copy, you get these colors. This looks more vibrant. But in person, this looks better, in my opinion. It looks closer to have the original comic books would have looked as far as the color palette. So I'm binding to the next page. this one see the colors do look vaguely different like I said I, I feel these look a lot better than these but like I said this has a lot of other extra content but you get the idea of the artwork here look at that gruesome gruesome okay so anyways I'm planning to uh, sell this one along with this one this one I'm reading it right now once I'm done reading it uh, probably I won't be keeping it so I'm selling these two for 50 bucks, this is also a big library edition size book. So 50 for both. A killer deal, this one by itself. It's going for about $50. It is out of print and so forth. It's by Brian Wood. Here you can get an idea of some of the art. And I'm going to finish reading this one and, and I'll sell it once I'm done. This is the main character right here. These are uh, Dark Horse books are very well made, these um, library editions. I wish they made them the size of the omnibus. I wish it were smaller. Just because of my bookshelf, they don't fit. <laughs> my bookshelf fits exactly this size. Uh, maybe slightly a little bigger, like up to here. Anything big like this won't fit in there, so that kind of sucks. So, yeah, guys, 50 bucks for these two. This is the spines right there. Let's get to the next books. All right, so this is the next book. You're all familiar with it. It's X-Men, Jim Lee, Volume 1. It's the, I don't know if this is the variant cover or the original cover, but to me, this is the superior cover. The other cover, I'm not a fan of. This one, I love this cover. What I don't like is all this black border. I'm not a fan of that. I wish, because it's meant to be a wraparound. It's a, it's a two-page spread, right? So I wish it showed the whole cover, like one half of the cover here and the other half on the back over here. That would have been pretty cool. Would have been nice you know that's what i would have liked so anyways this one i believe is going for about 115 on amazon and ebay so with tax and so forth that's like let's say 12 bucks tax so it's going for about 125 130 uh, i think i'll sell this one for 110 if you guys are uh, shipped you guys are interested let me know it's brand new sealed haven't opened it like i said a lot of stuff i'm replacing digitally and i won't have need for uh let me know in the comment section down below what you're interested in if you want something also in the description down below i'm gonna put all the books and the prices and uh we could 
change things around because I'm planning to sell a few bundle deals, but maybe we could take some books out and add other books that you're more interested in and mix and match. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just let me know uh, any questions. Feel free to ask in the comment section. Okay, the next bundle includes this uh, Weapon X Unbound. You know, it has minor, you know, like right here, it has a kind of like a ding or not necessarily a crease, but you know, it has a flaw there. Cool cover. This is a remastered coloring and so forth. Inside it has the actual cover with the original colors. This is the bag. This is the awesome issues die cut. I would love to see the dust jackets have, you know, foil covers, metallic chromium covers, die cut dust jackets, and um, the other one, holograms would be a little tricky to, to pull off. But I think foil and chromium would, would are very simple. I've seen DC do them. So here it shows what issues are included. Right there, 47 through 57 of the, so I think it's the Silvestri stuff. And um, I got this digitally again. This is the, look, these are the, it shows the covers. Love when books show the cover, hate it when they don't. And it has, um, it's not a glossy paper, so they are light. I don't think I've actually read this material, so I can't really speak up on it much. I read the two previous uh, trades that lead up to this. Yeah, these, these books, I love these, it has this paper also because it's um very light. It has that overstock mark as well. It's a very lightweight, so when you have a shelf, once you have books that they're glossy paper, they're heavy, it starts bowing, and, and with these light ones, you know, it holds up a lot better. So I'm planning to sell that one along with this one, Wolverine Prehistory. Also, again, has some flaws here. You see little indentations and whatnot. You'll see some stuff like that on the back as well. See right there. So they're not in perfect shape, but they're in really good shape. You know, they're they're solid. Um, I was thinking maybe 20 for both of these, 20 shipped. This is a chunky one. Look at that. Look at these two together. I'm currently reading this one, so I would like to look there. You see another issue there. I think it also has the overstock mark right there. Yep. I'm currently reading this, like I said, um, but I don't plan to reread it. This has some interesting stories. It's all the stuff of Wolverine before he met the X-Men. His life in Japan, his life as a soldier, etc., etc. Solid stuff. I will be dropping reviews on these. It's about four miniseries and a few one-shots. I'll be doing uh, reviews of the miniseries, of the four miniseries. And so stay tuned for those as well. Okay, so like I said, these two, two for 25. I want to finish reading that and get the video out. All right, the next book is um, The Dark Judges, The Fall of Dead World Book one, read it, enjoyed it. I mainly got this because of this cover. I, I enjoyed this cover and the art. These are the three judges. Um, totally forgot their names, but that's just death right there. And it gives you a little background on each judge so you get an idea of their personalities, how they differ from each other. I wish it touched more on their origin, what makes them tick, what made them that way. But it does explain like how they differ from each other as far as personality-wise. It's a big hardcover. It's the size of the your Marvel oversized hardcovers. Love that artwork right there too. But it's a lot wider. The other ones are like up to here. This has it's a lot wider like that because it's I believe they're like magazine type of format, like squared. Let's get to some of the pages. This one, love this first page right here. Look at the art right here. There's three of these books. There's gonna be three of them. That one has some issues there. You see, that's about it. Everything else in the book is good. It just has like this got stuck to over here. You see. Like, it got stuck right there. That, that's the only flaw in it. Check out some of the artwork. The binding is really good on this. It lays real flat. So this is a dark, gritty story, and this art gives you that feel. If you like Walking Dead and stuff like that, think uh, Judge Dredd. But Judge Dredd doesn't come out on this, but there's a judge in here. Uh, think the judges in the world of uh, of The Walking Dead, right? It shows how this world, dead world, how everybody's dying here. They're catching some type of disease, right? And they're they're kind of turning into zombies, basically. Good story. And there's two more books. So hopefully the uh, volume two and three flesh out these stories a little more. This book by itself is like 35 bucks, I believe. I'm trying to sell this bundle for 40 It would be that book. This Judge Dread book, Day of Chaos, The Four Faction. This one, eh, it's okay. It wasn't nothing great in my opinion. This one, The Best of Judge Dredd, again, has a few minor issues, just like the Wolverine books. Um, this one's really good. It shows the best stories of Judge Dredd. 
shows like a real good story from the 90s, a real good story from the 80s, of uh, uh, the first appearances of each of uh, Judge Dredd's main villains. So yeah, that's three books. And then these two, which are solid reads, but the thing with these two is nothing I feel I need to reread. Is Doc Savage, Omnibus Volume 1. It's his early years, how he became Doc Savage and so forth. And then uh, The Shadow Year 1, which is also you know, The Shadow's early stuff. I have this one digitally. This one I didn't bother to get digitally because I don't think I would reread. But this one I think is going for about 30 bucks by itself right now. It's out of print already and, uh, you know, there's a... Shadow has his, his fan base. So it's... For five books here. So it's five books right here. Here's the spines. I'm planning to sell for 40 bucks. Like I said, that shadow by itself goes for about 30. Trying to sell them for 40 for all of these. Uh, that's about $7 a book. Killer deal with all these. With the exception of the best of Judge Dredd. All cost me around close to 20 each book. So I'm trying to get rid of all of them for 40 guys. That's a killer deal. If you just want a few books to read. Um, this one's pretty good. This one, I like that it... Uh, it's ju it's uh, Doc Savage. He starts in the 30s. Then it shows you Doc Savage in the 40s. Then Doc Savage in the 50s and 60s, 70s, all the way up to like the 80s. So it shows you how um, he's modernizing himself as time goes on. He's no longer fighting Nazis. He's fighting different types of criminals and governments. And as uh, his corporation, it's just him and like a few buddies back in the 30s and 40s. As the years go by, the team grows bigger and bigger. They start including other doctors and police officers and whatever, right? Soldiers. Uh, it grows into a big organization. It was pretty interesting. It's, it's a good take on it. I like how they're trying to, they try to modernize them. Like they, they ushered them into the more modern era. If you could call the 80s modern anymore, but it's no longer in the 40s, at least on this book. So I, I really enjoyed that because you can only do so much with Nazi stories. You want to switch it up some, right? It starts off having a little bit of that pulp feel, but it starts, um, changing as as the book goes along you, you see them kind of evolve in the city and everything else around him the way they dress and so forth kind of change with them all right guys so these are the the books i have right now we can mix and match some like i said maybe we could take some books out and add others if, if uh, you're looking for a bundle deal the more you buy you know you could drop the price some and and so forth right um i have a few more books but first let me try to get rid of these then i'll make another video on my next one haul, as I, as I read the books, then I put them on the cell pile and whatnot. Uh, thanks for checking this video out. Let me know if anything interests you. Other than that, you know, hopefully you hit the like button and the subscribe button so you could stay tuned for my next one haul video and see if anything grabs your eye there in case nothing got your attention here. All right, guys, check this out next time.